is Andy Hamm. I'm a national event supervisor, and we're going to talk about Machines Division B today. Uh, this is a new event coming in the Physics Committee. It's been around uh, in the past, and there are two parts. Students will be taking a test on machines and other topics that's explained in the rules, and they will be building a lever to measure the uh, ratio of unknown masses. We have two different types of levers. It's a first class lever that students are building in Division B. And there are size restrictions everything fits into. Right here I have, we have two different examples here. I have a first class lever that is centered near the center of mass, which is near the uh, center of this rod. It does not need to be set up as a center here. It can be off-centered, like so, with weights over here, counterweights, which works just as well. And when we put our masses on here, we are looking at making these balance. So, for example, if I set this up over here, let's say, and one of the advantages to having counterweights on it is that you can always put your mass in one place and only have one measurement that you have to take because it would be on the longer lever arm. And this would have to be balanced and the like. And you can see I'm a little off here. I'd have to add a few counterweights on there to make that work, but it will balance then. And the counterweights would be set up before time. Uh, uh, calibrated and set up beforehand. Here, it will go around completely as I'm dropping everything, but as I set this up, this will hook up and this will go and then we would have two mass or two measurements. The heavier mass will be farther in And this would get moved until it balances. And it's very close there. But once this balances, move this in just a little more. Once this balances, then the students can take measurements from the fulcrum to figure out the ratio of the uh, masses. Now you're given three masses, A, B, and C and you're asked to provide the ratio of mass A to B and B to C. If A is larger than B, the ratio of mass A to B will be greater than one. If A is less than B, it will be less than one. The students are given time to figure out both ratios, A, B, and C. They do not need to figure out exact masses. We're just looking at the ratio of the masses and they get points based on how close they are to the actual ratios and how quickly they're able to find these uh, ratios. The masses need, they're in the uh, rules, directions about how big the masses can be, so that way the device can be built such that it can uh, handle those, and you can use things like string, wire, S-hooks, paper clips, anything like that, on here and it uh, could be metal, it could be wood, it could be anything really used for those. And while this is 3D printed here, you could use wood, you could use uh, anything uh, for a uh, support foam, you could even use anything, anything like that. So again, this is the device portion. Students will build this before competition. Event supervisors will bring the masses, A, B, and C, not labeled, that fit within the requirements. Students will uh, impound their device and they will come to the event, complete the event, complete the test, and then the score will be a combination of both parts of the event.